Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to locate the user security identifier, otherwise known as SID, in Windows. So this is a number that's used to identify different groups or users on a computer that are using the Windows operating system. So these numbers are generated when the account is first created and computers all have different SID numbers. Every number is unique to a specific user here. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just hold on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now, I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I want you guys to go ahead and paste it in. So just copy from my description, highlight over it, right click and copy, or highlight over control C. And then in this command prompt window, you want to right click on it, the top bar, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Should spell out WMIC, user account, get name, and then a comma, SID. Going to hit enter on your keyboard one time. This is going to give you a list of all the account numbers on your computer. Please note if you have the exact name of the user account, you could do a simpler command here. So instead of doing WMIC, user account, get name, comma, SID, it could be a WMIC, user account, where name equals, and then in quotation marks, whatever the user account name is, and then get SID. But that's a little bit more complicated for the scope of this tutorial, guys. But just to give you guys an overview of your SID numbers for each account on the computer, here it is. Pretty straightforward. Once you're done with that, go ahead, close out of here, and that's about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.